Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll be working on the BMW here again, generation 2005-2013. And in today's video, we'll show you how to remove and replace front seat belt buckle. Now, your buckle guys is very important in a crash, so if the car was crashed, you will need to replace that one. Also, it's part of the airbag system, so you can get a code for a bad buckle. Uh, you can have the seat belt light on, so so many things that could go wrong with that thing. In addition guys, we have more than 200 videos taking this whole car apart, so if you need help with anything, okay, please drop a comment below, we will try our best to make a video for you. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So, what I would recommend is to disconnect your car battery one hour, one hour before the repair, uh, because uh, what we'll be working on, okay, we'll remove, we'll need to remove the seat, that's part of the airbag system and as a result you get airbag codes, you have side airbag in the seat that you don't want to deploy, so I'll definitely be very cautious and probably if you don't have the experience, I wouldn't recommend uh, doing the job, but uh, just to see how it's done, so let's start on it now. So now we need to screw the seat all the way to the front, and why we do that, because we have two bolts on the back side. Okay, we'll show in a little bit. Now, you have two options. You can uh, you can do that without removing the seat belt, okay? But we recommend to remove the seat belt so you can, uh, in, in case uh, you need more room and to safely get it out of the way so you don't damage the seat belt. On the back side, pull that cover. Okay, let me show you from this angle. Okay, push the back side out, then you need to push it back and pull that cover out. After that, you have Torx 50. Okay, that's a Torx 50 bit. And we need to remove that bolt. Perfect, and... Okay, you can just pull the belt out. Just like that. Now, since we are on the back side now, okay, we can go ahead and remove these two bolts. As you can see, there is two bolts that hold the seat to the floor. One, two. Those are with Torx 50 again. Now, if you have power seats, you have to have the battery on until you remove all four bolts, and then you have to disconnect the battery. And I would recommend to wait one hour because you have a side airbag in the seat. Okay, working on the second one now. Again guys, all the tools and parts that you see in the video will be listed in the description of the video below. Now, we'll need to screw the seat all the way to the back now. Okay, we'll have a detailing video soon, you can see how nasty the car is from all the leaves and snow. So, you want to move it so much to the back that you can see both of the front bolts. One here and one is over there. With the same Torx 52 guys, we will remove those bolts. Perfect, the seat will lean towards the back a little bit. And now we need to disconnect all the wiring harness under the seat. Okay, and check this thing out now. Uh, this one is supposed to stay right here. And somebody didn't install it last time, so that could trigger airbag codes and all kind of stuff like that. So, we'll go ahead. Okay, disconnect it now, how you disconnect it. Okay, that black thing needs to be pulled out. So, I need to do that now. So, oh, you do? Okay, just pull them out. Okay, like this one. Now we have to inspect that your wires are in. 
because sometimes they can slide out and if they do they will not go in the correct way you can damage the pins and you'll get all kind of codes for the airbag system seat not working and all that stuff now there should be shouldn't be anything else holding the seat in place so let's see if we if we can go ahead and pull it out Okay, and you can see guys, the seat came out of the car just like that. So with the seat being out of the way now, this is your seat belt buckle. Left to right side will be almost identical now. Let us show you how we are going to disconnect that now and how we are going to remove it. So this is your connector for the seat. That's part of the airbag system. You can see yellow, yellow connector like that. Now let us explain you guys, okay? how to do that. Now if you have the seat warming, okay this one uh, will, I think it will be the same for both of them. Now we need to go ahead and uh, either cut that zip tie open, okay so we can slide all the connectors out or we need to uh, uh, go ahead and open it. There is one little tube that you can usually pry open with the screwdriver, small screwdriver. Let's see if we'll be able to do that on ours. So in our case we'll just go ahead and cut it, careful not to cut any wires, okay perfect, pull it out. Now let me show you right here, okay right here there is one little tooth, okay this tooth right here, pull it to the side and then you can pull your connectors out. One. Okay, one connector is out and the other ones came out as well. So this is the wire that we will need, this is for the seat belt buckle. Now we have to release that bracket holder here, okay, like that. After that we have one board with Torx 50, so make sure that you get that one tight later when you install it. We have a video guys how to test a seat belt buckle as well. Perfect, we gently need to pull everything out. And he has one more clip holding here. We just saw that. So let us get that. Okay, clip holder remover, removal. Okay, and this one came out. This is your seat belt buckle guys. That's how you remove it. Installation pretty much is in reverse order that we took it apart. That thing can give you an airbag code as well. We will have it on the channel, how to diagnose them, how to test them. So please check it out. Thank you for watching and see you next time.